Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 152. Today we cover Google Meet's companion mode and presentation casting. If everyone in a Meet is remote, or if everyone is in the same meeting room, they all have equal access to activities. But when you have a mix of remote and meeting room participants like hybrid meetings, people in meeting rooms can be at a disadvantage. They can't individually chat, upvote questions, or answer polls using meeting room hardware. They can also run into issues if they want to share a presentation with Meet, and joining can often create a horrible echo effect as their mic and speakers feed back into the Meet audio. What a mess. Well, you should know about Google Meet's companion mode. It's available for laptops, but not mobile, although you can get around it in a way. So what is companion mode? Google says companion mode is a way to connect Google Meet video calls on a second screen for collaboration equity. All right, well, that doesn't tell you anything. Ignore the corporate woke speak for a bit, and you'll see that it's really just a fancy word for a mode that shuts down your microphone and speakers so that you don't have audio feedback. That's about it. You could do that on your own by turning off your microphone and your speakers, but getting participants to do that before they join uh, can be a bit of a headache. So this companion mode is a one button thing that just makes it easier to do. And it does have some consequences you should be aware of. The main one is that you can't listen to or speak with the group. It's assuming that you're using companion mode in a room that's already connected to the meet with audio and you're joining in addition to the main connection. So you're in the room with someone who's already connected into the meet. This also means that breakout rooms won't work for you because you really can't interact with people that way. Other features will though, like hand raising, chat, voting and polls, things like that. So to get started with companion mode, just open up the meeting via the meeting invite or your calendar link or by using the code at meet.google.com. Then under other joining options, choose use companion mode. Alternatively, you can go to g.co slash companion and enter the code to automatically join with companion mode. While you're at the meet home screen, notice that you can join in present mode, which basically joins your computer only as a screen sharing device and also turns off your audio and webcam. Now this is actually very helpful if you want to share a presentation on one device or screen and you're already otherwise on the call with another device. Again, it stops the whole echo thing. It's also helpful if you're kind of uncomfortable with the share screen option and you have to then go in there and pick the right window or tab or screen that you want to share. If you want to go straight into a presentation mode, you can also use the URL g.co slash present. All right, so as suggested before, there's a known issue with breakout rooms. People in companion mode cannot speak or hear in the breakout rooms because their mics and their audio are disabled. To use this in hybrid sessions, what you could do is keep your in-person people in the main room of the meet and physically split them into breakout spaces like you would normally do outside of a meet. And then the remote people can use the breakout rooms. Okay, so for a presentation tip, did you know that you can cast to an existing meeting straight from a presentation? Yeah, so open up Google Slides, open a presentation, and look at the button to the left of your slideshow button in the top right corner. It looks like a box with an up arrow. Hover over it and you're gonna see it's labeled present to a meeting. Click that, and if you have any scheduled meetings, those are gonna show up, and if not, you can type in the meeting code to send that presentation to the meeting. It'll join your presentation to the meeting and it, you don't have to fumble around in the meet with share my screen option. This is particularly helpful if you are presenting in a meet and you have just a laptop. You only have one screen and you may want to pull up an iPad and present your presentation with that because you need that extra screen. Or maybe you have two screens and one screen has your notes and the other screen has the meeting and you need another uh, device to show your presentation or document. Now on your mobile device, you can do a similar thing. If you have Google Slides, for example, you can launch a presentation and then tap the play button at the top. Then choose where you wanna cast your presentation. You can see any scheduled meetings, but you can also present to a meeting via code. Note that if you have a Chromecast, you can actually cast to the Chromecast. Anyways, once you join the Meet, your mobile will automatically disable video and audio on your, on your phone, and that prevents that echo again. So in summary, companion mode is very helpful when you're running hybrid meetings and you want people physically in attendance to be able to participate on voting, chat, or to give presentations. The casting option in slides is also handy for easily presenting or allowing another person in the room to present from their laptop or phone, all without having to swap out who's running the meeting at the front of the room. 
All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to receive email notifications. Follow the link on the screen there to go to our mobile app. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.